can bring them. Revelio. Revelio. If only Professor Fig could have seen that. Rebellion. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw a grim, an omen of death. I'm not safe, but if it can't see me, I'll be all right, won't I? All I need is an invisibility potion. Yes, that's what I need. I'm afraid I'm all out of invisibility potion. I suggest finding somewhere safe and being especially careful. Safe? Careful? Uh, yes, that makes sense. And you're sure you don't... No. Very well. I'll scout around Felcroft for something to poach. I'm always buying the not half as tough as it sounds. I tell you this Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection charms. <laughs> so where did I set my traps? Was it lower or upper Hogsford? I think it's Totalus. That's a thing's not right here. Oh. Oh.
Your poaching days are over. Alohomora. Quite stately in its time. Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. said that travel broadens the mind. Perhaps a hybrid. Bouncing to... I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up. Keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing is mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Wonderfully done! If you'd like to practice... Welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. Rebello. Look at that! You're a natural! Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Greetings. Please, take your time looking about. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. You have a good head for business, haven't you? Say I don't keep a stack shelf. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. 
No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. Could it be a Merlin trial? Revelio. Nothing to poach in Aaron's sure, except spiders. Not worth the trouble, if you ask me. Who says crime doesn't pay? Why, I'm practically swimming in galleons. Perhaps I shall scout around Fellcroft for something to poach. Oh, that warrants a look. Mr. Dallas. Please don't mind dying to make me a few sickles. I'll have you know, I'm from a lineage steeped in bravery. Revelio. Boy, I could even dare tell my aunt the truth once about what really happened to her shrivel fix. Now that's brave. He's weak. Yes, he is. When's the last time you saw him catch a beast? Spends more time petting the things. One the I am. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Revelio. the rarest beasts in the forest I do you're lucky if you find a rat <laughs>
Betting on the dragon fight was the best. Of Always one, isn't there? Except this time it's not just one, is it? It's the old lot of us all falling prey to some delusion. What seems to equip one of you to These rocks have seen better days. Confringo! Rebellion! Rebellion. That solves that. Here. 
Repair all. Accio. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Here's a pleasant surprise. Accio. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Rebellion. <laughs> Lumos. Here. 
Lumos. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Lumos. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Mine now, Demi guys. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Revelio. What do we have here? A demigod. Rebellion. <sighs> Lumos. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revelio. Mine now, Demi guys. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. Revelio. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I'll check your pockets it's up here, Jay. Defeated in Ash One. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Off on another adventure, are we? Incendio. Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on defense. I will be It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Expelliarmus! Protego! Seems a pleasant enough little place. Revelio.
Revelio. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Ah, yes. A wonderful choice. I'll have no trouble selling this. I hope to see you again sometime. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But... I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. 
My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Confringo! Don't do that. You Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Defenders! Aren't you the student who ran all those goblin loyalists? Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I hope to see you again sometime. Mead, here I come. Lumos. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day? Yes, Lodgog. 
He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you, Sorona. If you find Lodgok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Lumos. Ah, the secret is do the hard work first. I don't know about the center. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. You too, I'll meet. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Revelio. What do we have here? The demigods. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need and meet me near the witch's tomb. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. 
What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Erdgott. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Revelio. Ah, and there it is, the witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. Lumos. Confringo! Revelio. It's sealed. Lumos. Rebellion. Moths. Curious. Merlin's bed. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. This can't be the witch's tomb. 
Likely I need to go further. Confring them! Expelliarmus! Defend them! Accio! Revelio! Lumos. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Lumos. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Incendium. Compulsor. 
Lumos. Lumos. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Revelio. Down I go. No other way. Depulsor.
incendio. Expandiamos. Lumos. Confringo. looks even more complex. Making this spin ought to raise that platform. That must be it. Lumos. Revelio.
Lumos. Depulsa. Lumos. Lumos Depulsa Lumos Depulsa Lumos Lumos. Depulsa. Lumos. Confringo. Lumos. Lumos Depulsa Accio Lumos Lumos Depulsa Lumos Lumos Depulsa Lumos
Lumos. Lumos. His final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Revelio. A dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. To show this to Lodgok. I know there's a mechanism to open this door. Lodgok. The sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn! They got here first! We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. job. Yeah. Oh, you're good, I... Expulsion! Expulsion! Depulsion! Yeah. 
Revelio. That's it. Rockwood! No more happy days for you. Right. Dingo. So close. Defender. Protector. Expelliarmus. I thought you'd at least hold your own. Couldn't bring up. Expelliarmus. My one. Confringo! You're coming to regret that! Uh, uh, Confringo! Protect us! Expelliarmus! You're pushing me to the Redacta! Confringo! Expelliarmus! I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Sometimes it seems all right. My sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. 
I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Mine now, Demi guys. So happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beast's class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along, then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're... I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. Poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puffskeens nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskeens and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. 
Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A job and all, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a Jobanal. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Arresto momentum. Confringo! Do cooperate, won't you? Everything's all right now. I rescued a job and all. Deke hopes your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cosy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. My young friend. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. No, you don't. Arrest the moment. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Lumos.
It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Most excellent.
Hello, Deke. I have some questions for you. What do you need to know? Thank you. I'll get back to collecting materials. Wonderful. Good luck. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Came out nicely. I should show Deke. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beast you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. 